The new Ping G430 irons. What's new about them? Why are Ping boring me? Are they any longer? And why have I got a four iron in my hands? Can I hit this green from 215 out with this four iron? So I'm testing on the course as well as inside. And also at the end of the video, I'm going to be playing a full hull just using these irons to test just how friendly they really are. Will I hit this green with a four iron? Oh, I ripped it. I might have hit the green. I'm a four iron player. That is a green here. Pretty much pin eye with it. Get on. So when it comes to the looks and the feels, the looks are striking at the beginning because this is a game improvement iron. This iron is for people who want as much help as possible, but the looks of them like super good to where I think they will really appeal for people who want to look down at something that's got a lot of help. I'm looking at them thinking I could really play this iron. Like it doesn't look like what it's branded to be. Oh, they make a sound like that isn't going to, for anyone who wants a soft feet, that's straight at it. Anyone who wants a soft feeling iron, something that feels, you know, like what you get the better players feeling like this, isn't it? It's got a kind of brittle feel, really firm, but it's what you would expect from a game improvement iron. Powerful. And I've hit that pretty average and it's doing well. I, the combinations of, I guess, which we'll look at the numbers, performance, which you know you generally get from ping, and then in turn power, which is what they're saying, wow. Perfection, possibly. Wow, big statements already. But what about the touch? Like, it's great smashing these irons, miles, and I'm gonna do my fair share of that, but we'll round the green. Let's see what the wedge has to offer. Just hit a little chip, shall we? The wedge again. Oh, it's rounded, it's pretty. Obviously, it falls in line with the fields of the other one, but shaping-wise, again, just like that's a game improvement iron that's a max help support game improvement iron is it like, what's going on at the minute with ping i'm getting bored has to be said i am getting bored of just their reviews being a bit gushing all the time and i don't want them to be they just don't do anything wrong just do something wrong ping make a ridiculous claim or something come on so i think the looks and feels are both like surprising and shocking looks wise but the feels are not and i would say this isn't the best feeling club ping have ever made and i don't think they're even trying to make it that way but if you're looking for something that's confident and inspiring tick if you're looking for something that's not ridiculously chunky tick if you're looking for something that feels forged no so i hit some indoor numbers dry ball data numbers before we go and play this hole using just the iron so i'm going to need all the help of this gi iron let's see how strong powerful these clubs really are so i'm hitting a seven iron in this test and i'm getting 124 ball speed boom 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 like they're strong launching around 18 degrees it's a seven iron spinning under 5,000 revs outside that's going to spin like a six iron because i guess we know now that kind of the seven iron is a six iron i guess the only place we go from here is that seven irons become five irons is it <laughs> Where, where does it end? And I'm carrying it 186, 186, 79. That's on average. I felt like if I push this iron, I could carry a seven iron up to 190, which is just obscene for me. So yes, they're long, but is it all the tech? Mm. It's the lofts. They put the launches in there, but it's the lofts, isn't it? So we're getting faster ball speeds from heat treated faces. We get pure flex technology, the seven flex zones. This is the kind of badge you see on the back that allows for more ball speed. High MOI from tungsten weighting. They've got gapping solutions because they have an array of wedges available also. That's needed because obviously they're super powerful. Ping say they're shaped for success. I would say they are shaped really well. So who are these irons for? To be honest with you, I think you're going to see these on tour to any club player's bag. They could really appeal to anyone. The sound of them won't appeal to certain demographics. The power distance will and then will not appeal to different demographics. But when it comes to who these clubs are for, I mean, I would be getting nearly anyone testing these if I was still custom fitting. Because I think there's something in at least the four iron that might appeal to so many golfers coming down to all the irons subject to how you combo your sets. Right, with all that power. <laughs> Four iron. Can I make a par using just my irons? This is the 400 yard par four and it's cold today. Oh yeah, I've hit that well. Just stay a little right, it's up the left side. Get down a little. It's a tee shot a little up left, but on the fairway. I've got 182 yards to the middle, pins just a little back of that. I'm gonna hit like a little pushy six iron. I'm gonna try and manufacture a shot. Obviously you've seen data and in those data's I'm hitting medium to flat out and that's often what people do when they go and get fit. They're just smashing balls. Like crazy, smash, smash, smash. It's all great these irons go 
further and longer, but can I hit precise distances with them? Because that's what you need to do. So this is how I played my little knockdown. So I'm coming down the grip fraction, and I'm just gonna hit a little pushy six in there. Quite straight-ish in theory. Yeah, just left side of the flag, stay right. Oh yeah, plenty of club. Oh, that's nice, I mean that felt easy to manoeuvre. It feels easy. The idea is that you can't do stuff with cavity backs. I think we'll do a video on challenging it because I actually think you can do more because of the extra launch and what have you, it delivers you. And I think for lots of golfers who struggle with launch, certainly with lesser lofted irons, having irons that might pop the ball off the face up a little higher doesn't mean they top out any higher because they tend to even out if you do tests. But getting that little bit more of a degree or degree and a half extra launch off the face, for lots of people, it can help them in situations where the course is constantly ripping launch angle away from them. Oh, maybe I could actually birdie it. Look at that, pin eye, distance control. And again, that's something with a power bat that people are worried about. And I get it, after years of using them now, I'm not sure I worry about that as much as I definitely would have used to. Um, can't make a birdie just using irons, could I? This has some serious swing. Oh, around the back. Oh, it's not given. Let's not make a bogey, eh? Lovely. Well, there you go. I am impressed with them. Playing a hole just using my irons is made more realistic, kind of doable with a game improvement iron. Obviously only one hole, I mean over time, if I had to play golf just with those. And that's where I think the game improvement really plays on my feels and it would do yours too, that you've got something that's just helping you. The other thing that is great with playing a hole with just the clubs you're looking at, and obviously I know I get the chance to do this, is that I get to play different shots. I'm trying to hit targets with wins. I'm playing little shots in the green, the chip shots, those kind of ideas are so good for when you're testing rather than just the smash smash what really stands out with the ping g430 is that combination of looks in a game improvement iron i would say it's second to none in the game improvement iron world it's up there with the best of them if it isn't the best and i'm definitely getting bored of ping just making really solid great looking clubs i would just like them to start start getting brash start saying that you know this will go over the moon so we can actually not just say well done every time. When it comes to actually how much these clubs could help you, it can be really hard to see the difference in these tests because it's really marginal and it's going to play out over a period of time. You know, I'm talking like a season and you'd have to be marking each shot down to really see it play through. But if you want to see how an 18 year old driver compares to a modern day release, this video here is causing quite the stir.